Hey folks, welcome back to Motor Ramblings. I'm Patrick, riding Copper, my 2012 Suzuki V-Strom. And up ahead is Ed. Up ahead is Ed. Ed is on, looks like a DRZ 400. And just by happy accident, I ran into Ed. Ed's from the Beer City Blazers. He goes to the bike nights a lot. And he just happened to be coming out, doing some riding himself. And so we're going to ride together for a little bit. Let's go explore. Now, places I've already been today, but that's okay. It's still fun riding, off-road riding. Can't beat it. So stay tuned. Get to ride with Ed for a little bit. And I'll be back when we get on some dirt roads. All right, guys. So here we are. Ed up ahead. Myself heading up this dirt road. First time I've actually ridden with Ed, even though you know we've become friendly through the bike nights and the chatting. Great guy. So yeah, this is a very happy accident. You just never know what happens when you get out and just go. I found some new places, got to ride some cool roads, met up with Ed. You know, how can you beat it? And, <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going. I'm not going to say how great it is to be doing this instead of working at the post office. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, last year at this time I was in the middle of a 12 hour day. Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, as I said, this is late December. I don't know if I said it on this video or not, but this is late December, a um, few days before Christmas, actually. And that's why there's nothing on the trees. It is not officially winter yet. It might be sometime today. So, I mean, it could actually be officially winter right now. But as far as the trees and the weather's concerned, it's been winter for a little while. Um, check the temperatures, three o'clock, and it's 55 degrees. So, you know, I can't complain. This is some pretty good weather for winter. So anyway, yeah, Ed and I are just going to go cruise and enjoy this beautiful weather while we have it. I'll get back with you again in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. I remember from earlier, this road is pretty rutted out, so I figured I'd turn it on. We can watch Ed work his way through this stuff. But I'm telling you, just turned into a great day. I woke up this morning, it was about 37 degrees, and I thought, well, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I get on the bike. And I think I left the house, it was still like 42, 43. Came out, did some pavement for about a half an hour, got out here to these dirt roads, and I've just been out here ever since, as you well know from the videos you've seen. And now, I'm gonna finish the day off riding with Ed. I'm gonna go down here, like I said, it's gonna get pretty rough for a little bit, and then it should smooth out. So this is gonna be one of those videos where there's no motor vlog subject. Nothing, you know, to chat about on the mine there. But it's about the road, it's about the riding, it's about the camaraderie. And so I will let this run a little bit as we head down the hill. I'm sure you can't tell, especially with me standing up. It's pretty steep. And like I said, extremely rutted. So finding a good line earlier today I chose a wrong line I got on one side of the rut and immediately had to turn and get back on the other side of the rut so you know you just gotta look ahead pick a line and go with it like I said here's here's where the ruts really get deep get started 
we will be crossing it on several occasions because it does just zigzag across the road as we come down through here. Mm -hmm. This is the good stuff right here. For me, I love this. This is, you know, something I don't get to do on the Gold Wing. I don't get to do very often. And so, you know, it challenges me. It gives me something to think about when I'm riding. You know, I don't want to say street riding is boring, but, you know, I've got a lot more miles on a street bike than I do on a dirt bike, than I do on dirt. So, this is new, this is challenging, this is exciting, this is muddy. <laughs> you know, so, for an old guy, getting out here and doing something new, God, it's worth it. <laughs> As an old guy, I don't run into too many things too often that aren't something I've already run into previously. So, this is really cool. I highly recommend an ADV bike for anybody, but especially if you're a little bit older, you got a little bit more means about you, and you've done a ton of street riding. Get out here, get on an ADV bike or a dual sport like uh, Ed has up there. Do some things you haven't done before. Nobody says you have to do them fast. Nobody says you gotta go working on trails and stuff. But just the forest service roads open up a whole new world. And I uh, refer everybody to Bodine 52 picking up his KLR and the new and exciting things he's getting to do on that bike. Hang on a moment. I'm sorry? Oh, there you go. Yep. I think it's pretty shallow. <laughs> Gotta like me a water crossing now and then, right? The smart thing would have been like Ed did, but the fun thing is getting wet and muddy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And I'd been through that puddle before. But anyway, yeah, get out and do the thing. You know, if you can try an ADV bike, even if you'd like borrow one or, or rent one or something, and go get on a dirt road and see if it doesn't give you that addiction like I have to getting off the dirt road. I mean, getting on the dirt road, off the pavement. You know, we've run into a lot of the UTVs today, even a truck or two, um, but that's middle of hunting season. But most of the time you get out here and it's a whole lot of solitude. So anyway, I'm going to get off that high horse. I hope everyone can stay well, stay safe. Most of all, stay happy, y'all. Motor Ramblings and Ed, out. See ya!